Hey guys, what's going on? David Avalon here with Spencer, and we're going to complete our standing arm lock series today and go into a shoulder smash. All right, and uh, this is a good option if all the other things, whether you couldn't get the arm lock, couldn't get the wrist lock, couldn't get the reverse kimura, then we can look to smash the shoulder. So let me show you how that looks like. So let me go ahead and break it down. So what happens sometimes when you go for this standing arm block here, uh, or any of the, 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 the techniques really here, that the guy bends over strong, like really hunched down. So this makes it harder to do the standing arm block because you don't have a lever here, all right? And you, you, you could still go for this reverse Kimura, but maybe you don't feel good, he's got a good base, all right? So when, particularly when the guy's hunched over, you can drive here, and I'll use a Russian 201 grip, all right, so wrist control here, control like close to the shoulder, all right, and I have my chest pushing into his elbow, and now I'm just gonna almost sprawl and put all my weight in the shoulder as I pull up and flex here, all right. Now, again, Spencer doesn't wanna hurt himself, he's going down quicker. If you're going against somebody who's giving you some resistance, it's gonna be like a dump here. Boom. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. Right? Well, right? But in wrestling, people do this all the time, and I've seen guys get their shoulders blown out just because on the fall. So this can become a submission as well. All right. So be careful of your of your practicing. All right. But the the circumstance for doing this is when the guy is bent over. If he's upright, it's not really there. All right. But if I'm doing this, he bends over as a counter to the armbar. Drive. Sprawl, pull up. Okay. Now, depending on how he lands, now like Spencer is landing smart, where he's landing on his side, which is going to allow him to turn to his fours, and that removes the arm lock threat. If he's a wrestler and he's not getting up a takedown, he might land on his fours. Okay, let me turn this way. He might land like this. If he does, then this gives you the option to submit him here. All right, because now I'll just completely collapse his shoulder. Go all the way down. Yeah. All right. And if I keep this hand up and don't allow it to collapse, sometimes it could post in the hip. Boom. You've essentially trapped them here. All right. It doesn't take much when you start doing this. All right. And again, this is something you gotta be careful with because if I just drop my shoulder right now, boom, I'm popping an elbow here. You know, popping a shoulder. All right. But that works if they go down to the fours. They can usually. Most guys who are not savvy to this, they're trying to defend takedowns, they post here on the free arm. You know, so I'm here, he bends over, boom, down. I can keep, if I can, that hand on my hip and just drop, boom, right there. And the first tap he's getting here is his arm lock, right? Because my core is pushing down with his elbow. I've supported his wrist here, and now, boom. All right, so again, technique to be careful with here. If you're going against somebody who's like a genetic freak and you know you flatten them out and nothing's happened, I can always now come and start working to take the back from here. But you have a lot of options there. Okay, so that is the shoulder smash from the Russian 201 and the standing arm lock series. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and leave a comment below. Now, if you want to get more weekly videos, right into your YouTube inbox, subscribe to my channel now. And for even more blog articles and videos, you can visit my website, which is davidavalon.com, and you can also learn more about my courses there.